The question is why there is an internal resistance exist between the terminals of battery. To answer this question, consider the structure of battery. The battery consists of an electrolyte material and two electrodes. The one is called anode, and the other is called cathode. The electrical energy is produced as a result of a chemical reaction take place between and electrodes and electrolyte material. At anode, oxidation take place, while at cathode, reduction take place. Notice that, anode, cathode and electrolyte, all are not perfect conductors. That is why, there is some resistance between the terminals of battery. This resistance is referred to as, internal resistance, which decreases the terminal potential difference across the source when there is current. To understand this, consider a simple circuit that consists of a bulb attached to a power supply of internal resistance R as shown in the figure. When the switch is closed then current starts flowing through the circuit. The current also passes through internal resistance. Thus, some of voltages drops across this resistor. According to Ohm's law this voltage can be expressed as I into R. So, the formula for EMF is E is equal to V plus IR. Now, discuss the affect of internal resistance on power delivered by the battery to sink. To understand this consider a battery of EMF10 and internal resistance 50 ohm is attached to variable resistor. An ammeter is attached in series to measure the current passing through the resistor. And, a voltmeter is attached in parallel to measure the potential difference across the resistor. Consider the first case, when resistance of variable resistor is 0 ohm. Then, the reading of voltmeter is 0 volts, and reading of ammeter is 0 0.2 ampere, as power is the product of current and voltage, thus, power dissipated across the resistor would be 0. And, if the resistance of variable resistor is set to 25 ohms, then, reading of voltmeter becomes 3.33 volts and current would become 0.133. And power becomes 0.444 watt. And, if we increase the resistance of variable resistor to 50 ohms, then, reading of voltmeter becomes 5 volts and current would become 0.1, and, so on. This is the graph of power plotted against resistance of sink. Notice that, power is maximum when the resistance of sink is equal to internal resistance of power supply.